All right, now to our uh, backstory segment, and uh, we take a look at how the property market is tracking across the country. Could a Brisbane council ban affect baby boomers looking to downsize? And if you're looking to snag a bargain, an old Noosa surf club is up for sale for just $15,000. Is it worth the price tag? And the Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle, has put her lavish LA home on the market for just over $2.5 million. First up... We're seeing the emergence of generation rent. Are we seeing the emergence of generation rent? That's the question. Uh, Aussies who are choosing to rent rather than buy. Does this show the market is too hard uh, to get into for young people? Here's what the Courier Mail's real estate journalist, Liz Tilly, had to say when I spoke to her earlier in the evening. The cost of housing is just too expensive, even though we're seeing, you know, we've seen a bit of a comeback from house prices and now they're picking up again. This survey finds that renters just cannot afford to get into the market and they've also come to terms with that fact. So about 20% said that they'd be happy to rent forever. Wow. And they don't see the dream of home ownership as being the be-all and end-all like we've always thought it was. You know, it's always been that social stigma. You need to get married, buy a house and go through the... the the process, I suppose, but now they're saying, no, we're quite happy to just rent forever. We don't really want to be tied down to a mortgage. Um, we're look looking at the fact we could have a number of partners in our lifetime, not necessarily a family. So it's a whole generational shift in thinking, I suppose, that we're seeing. And when you consider rents in Sydney, like, you know, you're looking at upwards of 700 a week for a two-bedroom apartment somewhere. I mean, it's, it's just ridiculous. And I guess if, that's for renting, but it's even more to buy. So, yeah. It's interesting, the survey saying that they're coming they're coming to terms with, with having to rent forever. So. Is it specific to any particular um, capital city? So this was nationwide, but look, the ones who were the most happy to rent forever were in WA and Victoria, which is interesting. Um, Victoria is expensive. WA, not so much. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure why WA is a less worried about home ownership, because I know here in Queensland we, we all really want to get into the mm. market. Everyone... And the market in Queensland is and you can, yeah, you can yeah. a lot easier than it is in... So in WA, though, I would have thought. Yeah. Like, it, it's it's not as bad there as, as yeah. Sydney anyway. But, yeah, it was just an inter interesting insight into uh, our young people. Now, could a Brisbane council ban affect baby boomers looking to downsize? It looks like it. So there's this index that's come out called the Doris Index, which is a downsizer opportunity to remain in suburbs. And it's basically saying that we're going to have a flood of baby boomers wanting to downsize in the coming years. But all the suburbs that they want to get into, and they named a few, so Pullenvale, River Hills, Chapel Hill, Ashgrove, Tarragindi, those real sort of suburban, um, you know, lifestyle kind of suburbs, they're, not, they're going to be really hard for people to downsize into because they've got too many houses and not enough units. And the reason they do is because the so-called so grey keyboard army fought back against high-density living. And so now they're wanting to downsize, but there's nothing to downsize into in those suburbs. Wow. The houses are too big and too expensive. So they've really caused the problem themselves, which is really interesting. Um, so whether or not we're going to see the council have to turn around and start, you know, increasing density in those suburbs to accommodate this ever-growing downsizer population will be interesting. A surf club in Noosa for 15k. What's that all about? <laughs> Pretty crazy, isn't it? And it was on Facebook Marketplace, believe it or not. You wouldn't expect to find a surf club on there. A surf club? I should at Noosa? I know, at Noosa. I should mention it's... 88 years old, so it's from the 1930s. It was the Noosa Surf Club back then, um, but it's still in really good nick. Like the floorboards are all perfect, the rafters where you store the surfboards are in really good condition. So someone's got it in Doonan. Um, now, they didn't want to speak to me, which is really interesting. They were like, no, we don't want any publicity for it. And I'm like, well, like, you know, I'm sure we could sell it for you if yeah, you want yeah, to. But yeah. they've somehow got hold of it and it's on their private property and they're selling it from Doonan. Wow. So you can basically move it to wherever you want it in Noosa, I suppose, and use it as a house or use it as a property. But 15 k I mean, you're looking at yeah. the price of a small car. car. It's insane. And considering the price of real estate around Noosa at the moment, the median house price is... 750000 and that's just, you know, median house price. Median but, um, house price. Yeah, so I think that's a What a great a little story. It is. It's a real bargain. I think How'd you find that? To get onto that? Oh, on Facebook Marketplace, as I said. I'm often Facebook Marketplace. On there. <laughs> now, 
Megan Markle's home is up for sale. Tell us about Megan's. Yeah, so she lived in this a couple of years ago when she wasn't so royal. Um, when she was just before she went to Suits, apparently. This is in LA, very California cool, four bedroom house. And I think she lived in it with her ex husband for a while. Um, but it's 2.68 million Australian. So, you know, if anyone's, anyone's yeah. keen to have a bit of a touch of. Uh, touch now of royalty. royalty, you could uh, definitely a bit of Hollywood that one glam. Up. Very posh LA neighbourhood um, in uh, what is it called? Hancock Park. I don't know whether we know know that one, but it's a lovely house. So, you know, I think it's. I'm worth sure it'll be snapped up pretty quickly. I reckon it'll go pretty quickly. Yeah, it has not long on the market, but good to see she had a whole different life, I guess, before you know marrying Prince Harry. Before suits and royalty. <laughs>